So now it's time to um, uh, move on with the uh, modifications of the exhaust. Um, I've already cut this because I've, I've um, made this modification for my friend and I know where to cut it so um, the aim is to get the same inner uh, diameter as in this uh, pipe bands, this 90 degree pipe bands that I bought. Um, so I'm going to exchange uh, this piece here and this piece here about and uh, I'm going to cut some pieces to, to fit in between so um, this is what I'm going to do next and then we're on to the welding. So here I have my fixture uh, for uh, for welding the the pipe so it fits the cylinder. So uh, we have made a uh, we, we've taken an old uh, cylinder and uh, then we made this by just welding it to uh, to a steel uh, beam and uh, and uh, fitting the for the for the the mount for the exhaust so when we're welding this we're knowing that it comes to the right ah, it's going to be in the right position and uh, that's quite good because otherwise when you weld you know it will not be exactly as you thought it would be and that is a problem because uh, Start cutting and welding again. It's not. It's not. It's, it looks nasty and doesn't work well. So it's the best thing is to make the picture like this to do these kind of modifications. And because we are a couple of guys having the same uh, same model, of the Speedfight 100 CC, we we kind of share this fixture when we make uh, uh, adjustments. So now I'm going to prepare the rest of the, the parts. This is the flange I made in the CNC mill. Um, when I mount this to the cylinder here, it's important not to forget to have the gasket between because otherwise it will not fit uh, anyway on the uh, cylinder on the on the speed fight. So I just mount this flange like this and tighten it up and then we can start by start with uh, measuring out the the pipes and uh, the bends. My friend uh, is sitting here right beside me and laughing at me uh, but um, um, I'm not going to show when I weld this because I don't have any good way of filming it. So uh, this is what you see, and ne next time you see anything, it's going to be welded together and finished. So now I finished uh, the welding, and um, everything turned out okay. So this uh, pipe is. Uh, about 30.1 or something like that, 31 maybe inside. And according to the calculation on on the, uh, on the porting, it should be 30.5 at the exhaust. And, and uh, this is uh, this is more according to to that than than before. So the old pipe is like this. So as you see, uh, there is some uh, some differences quite a lot. This is about 28 or something like that inside. 
and this is almost 31 so and uh, this will improve everything for me uh, perfect <laughs>